Hey, what's up, hey guys? guys? What's up, guys? What's going on? It's Janelle and Renee. Woo woo. So today we coming to you with some Popeyes, Popeyes. baby. Yeah. Gotta love that Louisiana chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love that Popeyes. Mind, don't 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 mind the dog. He's just I don't know. He's going through a mental breakdown right now. <laughs> Mom Duke's in the kitchen, whipping up something. A little some some right 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 ma yeah. <laughs> all right so today guys we got some chicken of course french fries cajun fries oh excuse me cajun fries can't go anywhere without the biscuit baby right. all right we got some green beans over here to the side mashed potatoes some sweet chili dipping sauce some Mardi Gras mustard sauce. That sounds good. From Popeyes. So it. this is my first time trying that. Yeah, and I got the Bayou Buffalo over here. I'm definitely gonna be trying some of that. Um, got some honey here for my biscuits. An uh, apple pie in the back, guys. We got some lemonade off to the side. It's about time that we get into this. Got some Texas Pete hot sauce. Can't forget that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's, we we got to dig in. We got to dig in. So let's say our grace and let's get to it, right? All right. God is grace. God is good. Let us thank you for this food. Bye. Here we all be fed. Thank you, Lord. Daily bread. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. So first, let me set up my green beans. Well, you know, I always like to have a fry or two first. <laughs> got to put gonna, a little hot sauce in my green beans. I'm gonna um dip it in this Bayou Buffalo. I'm gonna try the chicken. In the, in wow. the Bayou Buffalo. Let me see that Bayou Buffalo. I'm going to just go whole chicken in. Right? It. Hold on. Let me see. Will it fit? <laughs> right, it, right up in there. Right, right up in there. Right up in there. <laughs> so what are we going to talk about with the people today, babe? Let me try this. How good the chicken is? Mm. I mean... Listen, I love buffalo sauce, but not the throw shade. It just tastes like regular buffalo sauce. How dare you? It does. But I love buffalo sauce, so you know I'm not complaining, really. All buffalo sauce don't taste the same. Right, but that just tastes like typical buffalo sauce. Let's try some of this Mardi Gras mustard. Must, must be awesome. Mmm. I'm loving the chicken right now. Mm. Did you mention apple pies? You know what? Mm, got some apple pies back in here. This is freaking. The Mardi Gras mustard? Dijon mustard with horseradish. I can taste the horseradish in it. I don't think I've ever tasted horseradish. You never had horseradish? I don't think I so have. So, like, even when um, Kadem, her cousin, be doing the. the the oysters. I don't do. I don't eat oysters. She is so weird, y'all. I love me some seafood. I eat any type of seafood. Not her though. I'm gonna have some more of this horseradish sauce. Cause that's <laughs> what I'm gonna call it. Ain't no Mardi Gras mustard. This is Dijon with horseradish. Mm, let me try a little bit of that. Yeah. Mm hmm. I love the legs. <clears throat> My the favorite legs too. And the thigh. That's my favorite. <laughs> Man, my two <laughs> favorite. <laughs> Get in some of this uh, sweet chili. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, y'all. I got to find some more stuff for Got the bone bag. Off to the side. This is so good, John. I don't eat my biscuits with anything. I just like it plain, just like it is. She they, likes to choke. No, I don't. <laughs> they like hers with honey, but I just eat it just like this. This one. Mm. I need some comments and likes of everybody that love chicken. <laughs> Fried chicken at, the, at that. Who, who don't love fried chicken? I don't know. I feel like if you don't love fried chicken, you maybe might be a little bit of a psycho. 
I'm not judging. I'm just saying. <laughs> Some people don't. Because they end up watching these documentaries and stuff and they get freaked out. And... Oh, like that what's the health thing that they had going on mm -hmm. and turned everybody vegan? <laughs> like, not what everybody. is that? No, everybody went Every, vegan. Everybody didn't see that, though. Everybody went vegan. <laughs> well, for a couple of days. I purposely stayed away from that documentary because I don't want to become that type of person that worries about Because, I mean, at the end of the day, they freak you out with the gory details, but this is stuff that's been going on since before. You know what I mean? Like, this is this has been going on. The milk and the cheeses and the chicken and, and stuff like that. This is nothing new. It's new to you because you were ignorant to it. Ignorant meaning you just didn't know. So, gonna have me some green beans. Mm. How are they? They're good? They season well. But you know, I had to put me a little bit of Texas Pete on top of that. Mm. Speaking of Texas Pete, let me move my biscuit out the way. Move it back here with my apple pie. Gotta put me some Texas Pete on my chicken. <laughs> and then <laughs> we can get back to dipping. Isn't this the hot sauce that they give? Oh no, they give Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Who did Texas Pete? Is that churches? I think so. Child, I'm gonna be looking like B Loves with this hot sauce. Shout out to B Loves on that one. Right? <laughs> All right. You're right. I'm not used to that taste. You don't like horseradish? It's, it's, no, it's not that I don't like it, but it's not something that I would eat all the time. Like, I probably would have to have a taste for it in order to eat it. I don't know anybody who would just have a taste for horseradish. Have a taste for horseradish. <laughs> like, that's weird. I'm sorry. Let's see if the fries have a taste for the horseradish. <clears throat> Yeah. I will say I'm pissed that my fries aren't crispy because why it took too long to get the camera set up. Shout out to Sass, first of all. <laughs> her 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 fries be crispy, but I think that's just a Canadian thing. Uh you know, because I think in Canada, you know, their food is a lot more fresh. They care about their people. <laughs> Here in the US, in Florida, especially they don't like us. <laughs> it's clear. <laughs> My fries don't got no crunch to it. My chicken barely have a little bit of bite. A little bit of... <laughs> the mashed potatoes are really good. Yeah. And it's really... It's still hot. I'm surprised. But then again, it's stored in a little styrofoam container. So... That's Tell the folk why you got to say that. The reason why she has to say that is because... It took us umpteenth hours to set up. <laughs> Are we going to let them know that this is our first video? Yeah. Oh, wait. I just did it anyway. Yeah, I did. <laughs> this is our first ever video doing basically a mukbang mm -hmm. of us just sitting here. We want to just chat with y'all. Like, let's, let's get to know each other. You know, let's ask all the questions you want in the comment section. I mean... We're going to try to answer some questions while we're recording anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but definitely, if there's any other questions that you guys want to ask, definitely ask in the comments. And let's really, like, get to know one another. Leave a comment if you guys do not eat this part of the chicken because I don't. I feel like you're a psycho if you don't. I don't, I don't feel like it has anything on it. And there's nothing here. For me to like nibble on like maybe when i break it off and there's a little piece of meat here i'll bite that off just like i did earlier but there's really nothing else for me here i don't i don't even like this piece you could I mean, you could split it right and you just you eat the crunch first of all no you eating the crunch off of this and then you get in that in that inner you're talking about in between yes the in the in between and you get no. that little piece of meat here you go you like that ahead, take that Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Looking like the dog when they be itching. Right. Go have me some skin. Mmm, I love my chicken skin. We'll dip mm -hmm. this here in some sweet chili sauce. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's 
So let's talk about this controversial topic. The surviving R. Kelly. Oh, God. Right now, that's what's going on in the world today. I don't Did know how it? far it's going to be passed by the time we post this video, but... Have you seen the documentary? No. Oh. I, and I refuse to watch it. There's a lot of controversy with that. And it's oh. a touchy subject, and, mm -hmm. I, and, I, and I'll tell you why. Because... People out in the world mm -hmm. feel as though if you don't speak on it mm -hmm. by basically shunning R. Kelly, calling this man a monster and everything else, then that means you're for it. Right. And I don't think things are that black and white, especially when it comes to something so serious as the things that these young women are alleging. Mm -hmm. Now, there's no way any one of us can know the real truth because we don't know wasn't R. Kelly. We don't know these young ladies. We weren't there, as you said, babe. Mm -hmm. So there's no way for us to know exactly what happened. Or even... For that matter, try to speculate because speculation, you're basically making R. Kelly a guilty party or without conviction. I mean, absolutely, there's people in this world that that's, that, that, that these things that their legend has happened to. And that is terrible. Yeah. Terrible. There is no doubt that he's attracted to younger females. I mean, his whole, I guess you want to say like, rep. Started back from when they were talking about Aaliyah and stuff like that and how he was going all the way back to that. But at the same time, we don't know these days. I mean, also a lot of these young ladies, their mothers, let me get some of that buffalo sauce. There you go. Their mothers have basically admitted to pawning their children off like sick people to R. Kelly. But they wouldn't be the first. They would not be the first. How do you think... Now let's get into it, right? Mm -hmm. Let's get real. <laughs> How do you think these basketball players and stuff like that meet these young ladies? Because their parents are the ones that's kicking out this money to make sure that they have floor seats. To make sure that they go to, as far as the concerts, these meet and greets and things like that. Everything that's going to get you that step closer to a person of wealth. A person of stature. Right? That can be true about some of them. People in this world are money driven. Yeah. And I'm not saying in no way... That's everybody. That's not everybody. No, I'm not saying in no way am I discrediting these young women. All I'm saying is there shouldn't be a documentary called Surviving R. Kelly if this man has not been convicted of any of this stuff. It's classic textbook defamation. You're assassinating his character. I just want to know why isn't it the same for other people that have done it? pretty much the same thing. Just like I saw a post today and they were talking about um, they had R. Kelly on one side mm -hmm. and they had Hugh Hefner on the other side. Mm. And it was like now that's the topic. Disrespect it. Respect it. Right. What's the deal with that? Alienated. Uh, 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 pretty much celebrated. <laughs> right? Right. Because that was Hugh Hefner's thing. Young girls. That he pretty much groomed. And he had them living with him. Had sex with. Yes. In his mansion. 
people. I don't know, people. I don't know. I'm, I'm, not saying, I, I'm not saying that he didn't do it. I'm not saying that he did it. I don't know. I wasn't there. So I can't speak on that. But. What I can speak on is a video that I just saw on Instagram. Already, I have a couple questions for Miss Andrea Kelly. Let's put it out there. You alleged that R. Kelly abused you mentally, physically, emotionally, and yet you still carry his last name. For what? If this guy is such a monster, why would you even want to be associated with this guy's name? If anything, you want to rid yourself of anything that's keeping you guys attached. So that way, what? No one could ever know, basically. That that y'all were together. Stand up. You're not in the frame. God, my mom is crawling on the ground <laughs> trying to stay out of frame. And you're not in frame, Ma. Oh my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> Such a sweetheart. I lied. <laughs> no, nah, but my mom is sweet. I love my mom. I love you, mom. Nash said he love you. Yeah, screw Nash. Oh. Nash is the dog that's wrecking havoc right Don't now. Don't do Nash like that. Back to what I was saying. We need to reload on surprise, babe. Oh. <laughs> reload. So, Andrea Kelly. This man is a, a, a monster. So you allege. This man abused you in front of your children. sexually abuse you you were happy to be out of the the marriage let me see those mashed taters please okay pass the taters passing the taters she passed the taters <laughs> but you carry his name i want to um talk about like when she was on that that show i forgot what show that was she was on what was the name of it? I forget the name of it, but it was. If you know the ex-wives name, ex-wives of Hollywood was it? Probably, I don't know. Well, if you know the something name, to that effect, put it in the comments. Yeah, put that in the comments. Correct us, please, if we're we're wrong. But she was recently before you get to talking about mm -hmm. her her being on that show. I want to talk about what I saw on Instagram. Okay. She posted a video. Of her in a car. She's riding, doing whatever. And there's R. Kelly playing in the background. And she goes, that's my baby daddy in the background. And then she proceeds to turn up the volume. And sing along. Singing Happy People by R. Kelly. And then she goes, one of my baby daddies at least. A ha ha with a chuckle. So here's my thing. Anytime there's a camera involved or an interview, here you are crying, carrying on. But then when you're not in the interview, you singing and, and, and clapping along to his song. That's bad. If this guy is such a monster, Anytime I heard this man's song come on the radio, everybody around me would know hey, he made good music. to turn it off. Right? That man made good music. <laughs> no, of course. Please, I'm not taking that from him. His craft is legendary. But what I'm saying is that looks a little suspicious. Right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm going to say for some people, it's just a totally different thing. But, you know, people like to hit you with the, well, if you weren't married before, you don't know. And this and that. I don't have to be married to know what you're going to take from a person. Right. If you were never in that type of situation, then you wouldn't know. You don't need to put it be in that type of situation. Listen, let me tell you something. 
there's different forms of abuse and not all of it comes from your spouse okay let's get into it but at the same time the same rules apply across the board across the board and what you're gonna say next oh uh, I'm trying to keep a, a, a good face for my kids what you keep a good face but you completely celebrating this man. Oh, guys, this is my baby daddy playing in the background. And proceed to sing the song. I don't know, babe. What, what, what's your take on it? I'm just going to say some people have their ways. Because at the end of the day, excuse me, y'all. I'm licking my fingers, y'all. I'm talking about this Popeye's good, y'all. I'm talking about it's time to get into this biscuit. It's just like you said, at the end of the day, it's real life versus TV time. Right. And what you want to put out there. Honey, for my biscuit. Little bit of honey drizzle. That honey rain drip drip. I got drip for sale. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I opened my my uh, biscuit up, mm -hmm. separated, put my honey in there, and closed it back like a little honey biscuit sandwich, <laughs> and chomp away. Mmm. Okay, you gotta hit that crunch. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so. Your skin almost got stolen over there. You can have that skin. Really? Mm-hmm. But this crunch right here. Y'all, I feel like I just hit the lottery. I love chicken skin. <laughs> <laughs> she loves chicken skin. I don't eat it as often. But sometimes I do. A little bit in the buffalo. I found a new thing I like. That Bayou Buffalo sauce? A little bit of the buff Bayou Buffalo and some sweet chili. Oh. Right after. Right? What? <laughs> mm. When we run out of Bayou Buffalo, you have to put some Texas heat in here. Because we're running low on the Bayou Buffalo. Taste that. Taste, taste it? Okay, hold on. Let's wait for the moment, y'all. <laughs> I am the queen of sauces. Thank you. Thank you. I call her the condiment queen. <laughs> I don't know. I just got that type of palette. I guess. Mm. Y'all. They don't make my country come out, y'all. <laughs> the skin here, y'all. Not the skin here, y'all. Y'all. <laughs> I can't even dip my chicken in no. It ain't even enough salt. This is. You gotta rip and stick it. Rip and stick it. All right. Yep. Yep. Yeah, this food's so good. I have not even reached for nothing to drink yet. I have. <laughs> no, clearly. I like my drink. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying. Uh oh. A little garbage bag and I fell over, child. Never know, that's be in the next. <laughs> you hit something else. I honestly don't know why you trusted it down here to begin with. Let's see if I'm talking. I was trying to get it to stand up, but oh. I'm over it. It's taking it's, too much of my not, time. It's not going to. What happened? It, it won't. It won't stand up. It's too many bones in there. Give me a horse rash. You know, we switch it like that. Okay. Cause I don't mind a little horse radish. I think it has an intriguing taste. What? Horse radish. It does. 
Reload. Chicken reload. <laughs> you like them? You put it up on the screen. Mmm. Mmm. This is. Ooh, this is the breast. I'm kind of getting best of both worlds. You know why? Because of the fact that I. Let me put this on here. Oh, Lord. Because of the fact that I. Um. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we forgot what you were going to say? Mm -hmm. I lost this chicken, y'all, made me lose my train of thought, y'all. I know when the food be so good. You I gotta sit here and look at it. I gotta sit here and look at it right now. Mm-hmm. You mean he da dancing? Dancing, dancing, mm hmm But because I basically what relate, is that the word I'm trying to use? Mm-hmm. Horseradish to oysters, mm -hmm. or what's the word I'm looking for? Seafood. It's not relate. What do you mean? What do you? Every time say? I think of, or every time I taste horseradish, I think of oysters. So that would mean I'm. So the hoist, the horseradish reminds you. Yeah, but what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I thought it was relate. Okay, never mind. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, is it incorporate? No. No. Screw it. Because every time that I taste the horseradish, I think of oysters. Now I'm thinking of seafood, and I got my fried chicken. And although, I mean, I would not put those two together on the plate, but all I'm saying is, they, they, they. I'm having the best of both worlds because I love me some seafood and I love me some fried chicken. More importantly, Popeyes. Lord, that chicken for Papa. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Can I taste the green beans? Sure. Thanks. Green beans. I thought you didn't want any green beans. Maybe. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I wanted to be healthy. Maybe I didn't want to be healthy earlier. No, you said you didn't want the green beans because last time they was nasty. I didn't trust it. You know who the cook cook was. Well, today. what's your, your what's your uh, verdict now? They got more seasoning than they had yesterday. <laughs> that was the part I was scared of. So you just basically told everybody that we done had Popeyes two days in a row. What's wrong with that? No. So, well, let me tell you about Popeyes. I go to order a large. Mash and gravy. Twice I've been there. And twice they have given me red beans and rice. So today was the final day. I got my mashed potatoes and gravy. And it was on the house. Good job. All because why? She called. <laughs> I gave her a pizza. Now I gave them a piece of her mind. <laughs> uh oh. Sometimes you have to. You can't allow them to just keep doing you wrong. The first time that it happened, I wanted to call, but she convinced me not to. This second time, I told her, listen, there ain't no stopping me. My mind is made up. I'm calling. <laughs> So this and piece, that I did. This piece of chicken reminds me of when you crack open a crab leg and you get the whole piece of the crab leg out. This is what this reminds me of. Right I don't crab legs that dry. Oh! <laughs> How, dare How dare she? Y'all, I'm a white meat hater. Hate white meat. Hater! Hater! I think it's so dry. <clears throat> I don't care who makes it. I think it's so dry. 
pieces. It's not dry. <laughs> it's the look you gave. That meat dry. Mm -mm. I don't know. We down on that last. I think down on my luck. Put some of that um, hot sauce in them. Back against the wind. We might have to just mix it with the um, sweet chili sauce. Ooh. All right. Okay. Made our own Bayou Buffalo chat. I thought it was going to have some type of, I don't know, I guess flair. Mm-hmm. Something that made it something other than just buffalo sauce. I don't know. I guess I had too much high expectations. Tater me, please. Mm. Tater. I just hate when I bite into a bone and a chicken. Gotta stop eating that white meat. No. <laughs> I done dropped my green bean <laughs> in the taters. <laughs> I'm a weird eater. What do you mean? I like mixing my foods. Like if I have mashed potatoes mm -hmm. and green beans on the plate, on a, in a little corner, you're going to find some of it tossed in with one another. A little corner? A little corner. Oh, yeah, okay. Because sometimes I like to eat my things separate. Mm -hmm. But at some point, it's kind of like, ooh, perfect example. You remember those little uh, circle graphs we would have to make in school? Where you have one circle of here, one circle of here, and then the middle piece. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's how I am. Okay. One circle over here is one side. One circle over here is another type of side. And the middle piece is the where mixture. I mix it together. <laughs> Only you. <laughs> See? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. Mm. This is delicious. I've had a good time sitting here just talking to y'all, like seriously. And I think this was my first time eating today. Yeah. And it's about, what, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock at night? That's crazy, man. Had a rough day today. A really rough day. That's a whole nother video. Because we already running on 30 something minutes. <laughs> That's a whole nother video. Mm -hmm. But, guys, this was good. I can't wait to do more of this. You guys are hanging with the mobs, man. Hanging we gotta we gotta get this out there. You know what I mean? Like, you know, share with each and every one of your friends if you just happen to happen across one of our videos. <clears throat> you know, share it. I mean, like, get us out there. You know, we 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 brand new. We starting up. We gotta get our subscribers up, right? Like, subscribe, hit that red button. And hit that bell to get notified whenever we uh, post videos. Right I can't now. wait to get like more acquainted with you guys and make a whole family and get some mobbies in here, right? right. We're gonna have some nice talks where we gonna get real. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love you guys. We'll see you soon, yeah? Yeah. Hanging with mobs, do do do, hanging. <laughs>